Hey guys, Puzzle Max here, and I'm back with another exciting unboxing video. This one is a puzzle that I just got in from thecubicle.com. Um, it's going to be really cool. I hope it is what I think it is. So let's uh, get into it and take a look and see if my suspicions are correct. Packed up really nicely here. A nice solid box, lots of tape. The cubicle always does a great job of packaging and shipping things. This one got here surprisingly quickly. Uh, all right. Lots of padding inside, all that good stuff. Uh, receipt. And yes, this is my brand new Aton Star. Uh, this is a puzzle that was created quite a while ago by Aton Chair, a gentleman who is pretty well known in the puzzle community by his awesome uh, puzzle designing and modifying and just creating abilities. He's got a lot of puzzles out there that are very unique to him. And this one is one that was picked up by MF8 a while ago, mass produced for a while. It sold out and then not too long ago, they decided to do a re-release and send it out again. So the Aton Star Puzzle, I pretty much fell in love with as soon as I saw it. Um, the design on this thing is just really, really unique. And from what I've read, I've not looked at any tutorial videos or anything like that about this, only a couple of other unboxings and read a few posts. But from what I've read, this is actually a fairly difficult puzzle just because of how many things are involved with each turn. Uh, this is a face-turning icosahedron puzzle, so 20 sides, and you get to do all the stickering yourself. It comes with all the lovely stickers, so you get to decide where you want the colors to go and how you want your design laid out. Um, I'll do that, obviously, in a little while. But 20 faces here, and nice deep cut. And let's see how it turns. Very nice. It's a little stiff, but considering how many things are moving with each one of these turns, I'm incredibly impressed already. Because of what I've read, this should actually jumble. So I think if I turn this to here, then I can turn this face. Yeah, just like that. So... That makes me even more excited. Um, also, from what I've read, the jumbling doesn't really add much in the way of difficulty to the solve. It doesn't change how things work or anything like that. But it just kind of increases the, the look and feel of the solve. Um, one of the main issues that people have here is that the corners can rotate very easily. And I can already see that that could potentially be a problem down the road. But there's a couple of hacks out there that show how to fix that and ways of making it easier. This one's actually modified slightly. Uh, yeah, the corners fit best in one direction, it looks. So that might help as well in keeping it kind of where things are supposed to be. So this puzzle is just so cool looking. I'm very, very intrigued by it. I I don't know, really, without stickers on it and kind of being able to see where th colors move, I'm not really sure where the solve is going to begin here. So let me take a quick break here, put some stickers on this, and I'll come back and maybe have a better idea of explaining how I might approach a solve. So talk to you in a minute. And we're back. As expected... Stickering that took a long time, 260 st uh, stickers total. Uh, this is a great puzzle. Stickering it was almost like art, just trying to make sure that some of the very similar faces were close enough together that I'd be able to easily compare them. 
Um, but at the same time, making sure that stuff was still separated and looked good. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I know where to get extra stickers if need be, and I want to redo it one day. But for now, I think it'll do just fine. Uh, just in playing with it some, I think this is going to be a similar solve to my face-turning star minx. Uh, this bad boy here. Because on this, whenever you make a turn, the centers and a lot of other pieces from the surrounding faces travel with it. On this, even though there are many more faces, whenever you turn one of them, the centers from other faces and a lot of other pieces surrounding travel with it. So I think that's going to be a relatable puzzle in the solve for this. I've also already come across a pretty simple cycle that I think is going to work a lot into solving and creating commutators. Um, just your basic pyramid style, down, down, up, up, cycles these sections around. And with that, I could easily do a commutator with those center pieces. And I think with a little bit of adjustment, I could make it work for other pieces as well. So that's definitely going to be something I'm going to play around with before I go into a full scramble here, just to see if I can kind of make sense of some of these commutators and figure them out, because I think this is going to be a challenge, but at the same time, I do think I can figure out at least maybe three quarters of it or so on my own without needing to look anything up. Um, also, I think a good portion of the first half, at least, can be done mostly intuitive because there's so much extra free space to work with. So overall, I'm very happy with this purchase. It's a great looking puzzle. I can't wait to see what it looks like scrambled, but that's still down the road a ways. But yeah, I'm a big fan. I uh, did a quick little mod on the corners. They don't turn nearly as easily as they did. So that's an easy fix. A couple pieces of tape inside there and it's done. So if you're interested, definitely check this puzzle out. It's very, very intriguing. I like it a lot. Thanks for watching and happy solves. Just a little follow up here, folks. I'm... Halfway through the solve, I managed to get this half of the puzzle done 100% intuitive, just with some tweaks and turns and things. But I did want to make note that I'm not very happy with two things here. Um, one is probably my fault, partially. Um, these two blues, while they look okay on camera... The only way I can tell these apart when these pieces are scrambled is one of them has a more glossy finish, the other one has more of a matte finish. And these drove me crazy a couple of times in here. I think because I put them so close together, attached to the same color, I could have easily screwed that up. So that's definitely on me. But I will definitely be looking at replacing one of these in the future with um, something brighter. I'm going to check a few things out. Uh, the other one is the oranges. They're kind of the same thing. When they're scrambled, it's kind of tough to tell them apart. When they're on a solved puzzle, they weren't too bad. So uh, just keep that in mind if you are looking to re-sticker yours and do things like that. But otherwise, this puzzle has been awesome so far. It turns really nicely. I haven't had any issues with popping or anything like that. And I like the intuitive factor where I don't have to rely on a bunch of algorithms at first. I can just kind of run with my own brain and see how things can move together and come together. So it's it's been a very fun puzzle so far. I'm going to try as much of the rest of this on my own as I can and then maybe resort to some of the greater solvers in the world and see if they can help me out a little bit. But there you have it.